Good afternoon. Uh, Sunday the 6th of September and um, a little video just ready for everyone coming back tomorrow for the first full day. And I'm going for it. This is take 10 and I've had enough already. So, uh, thank you so much uh, for Thursday and Friday for the way in which you brought your children to school. It was so easy. You were uh, absolutely brilliant. Systems have worked. The one-way system is working. I've clocked up 26,000 steps on my Fitbit, um, going round, making sure everyone was okay, and uh, hopefully caught up with uh, most of you. I did, did try and grab a word with parents, um, but we will be out uh, this week, so any questions or queries do uh, come to us. Reception children were absolutely fantastic. They all went in so well. They've had a quick walk around school, and they'll do more of that next week, so they know where most of the important places particularly the kitchen, um, and across all other age groups, children now met the, uh, their teacher and the adults who will be working with them. So tomorrow uh, we have nursery for their first full day in, and then we have all the children in all the classes. So we've got 415 or whatever it is, uh, children expected tomorrow. Our staggered times are quite tight um, surname A to F, A35 to A40, pick up 305 to 310. G to O, A40 to A45, picking up at 310 to 315. And then P to Z, 845 to 850, and that's a 315 to 320 pick up. Now that's quite tight and deliberately because we're trying to get, maximize the amount of time for children in school. But perhaps think about um, where you're parking. Um, using the Legion car park maybe or the one opposite there and just walking in from the other direction. Please again think about using the uh, one-way system so that's coming from the Garnsgate direction towards uh, Swapcote Lane. And I think I did say in the last video but if you've got children with different surnames go for the surname of the older child. We don't want you having to do two drop-ups so therein lies madness. Um, so Parking's all sorted. Uh, remember, uh, we are doing two PE uh, slots a week. Now, I know there's been a little bit of Facebook traffic on that. Um, the reason we're changing it, bluntly, is we needed to increase the amount of PE we were doing. We're slightly below the uh, time audit. We have got um, Mr. Niang and Mr. Graham in uh, working in the uh, PE team. So we've got, and we've also got Elite Sports in as well. So they, um, the children have got um, some really exciting things planned. And there's a lot of athletics taking place at the start. Um, so let's, I'll just go through the days. Reception, Friday. So children come in on their PE day in their uh, PE kit. So reception on Friday, year one, Tuesday and Wednesday. Year two, Wednesday and Thursday. Year three, Tuesday and Thursday. Year 4, Monday and Wednesday. Year 5, Monday and Thursday. And then Year 6, Tuesday and Friday. So they come in the kit and then it just makes things so much easier. Uh, and again, I uh, had a, a, a query through in terms of snacks and fruit. So children in reception, Year 1 and Year 2. Um, fruit will still be uh, provided. Um, Year six is used to do that. Uh, we, we've put a new system in, obviously, with restricting movement around school. Uh, key stage two children bring their snack in and it stays in their backpacks. Thank you so much. Uh, it was great to see small backpacks this year. There were, there were um, normally at this time of year, we get some children coming in their rucksacks the size of them. Um, so small backpacks go under their chair. Everything they have is around them. Um, and that's uh, be really useful uh, for us. And then finally, uh, a couple of questions came up about face masks. Government guidance currently is that children at primary do not need them. Um, we are quite flexible, but um, the vast majority of children came without them last week. Um, there are concerns that if a child um, does wear a face mask, they'll be touching the face. Uh, and I have seen it around in town where younger children have them. They're always pulling them up to the nose. So 
if you wish to wear your child your child to wear a face mask that will need a conversation with myself or mr singleton and we are looking at a minimum of three masks being brought in each day and they will need to be cleaned um, that's in line with what those schools who are allowing them uh, are saying so it's not us being difficult or or uh, trying to make it un, uh, unworkable um, we will keep looking at the government advice and we'll keep coming back to you um, so uh, try to make it as short as possible can't wait to see the children tomorrow can't wait to see you we would ask that uh, if your children uh, are uh, reception up to year five do drop them off and walk round with them year sixes are allowed that little bit of leeway but we, we again trying to move people around quickly so um if you're dropping a child off please walk around with them then exiting from the main gate it worked very smoothly um i'm sure it'll be different with 415 of us whatever it is tomorrow but we'll make it work as well as possible thanks ever so much and see you in the morning